Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad first round 2003 problem number 3. We wish to find all functions f from the set of rational numbers into itself satisfying the following equation f of x squared plus y equals x f of x plus f of y for all rational numbers x and y. It's a very nice problem, very nice func functional equation and here are my hints. First, uh, set x to be 1 and y to be 0 to find f of 0. Then, set just y to be 0 to show that f of x squared must be equal x times f of x. Then, show set x to be 1, set x to be 1, and show by induction that f of y equals y times f of 1 for all integers y. Not for all rational numbers yet, but for integers. And finally, let x be any rational number and find and let m be such a positive integer such that 2mx is a, an integer. Yes, so you can choose m to be the, denomin the denominator of x. And set y to be 2mx plus m squared to find f of x. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. All right. So let's call our functional equation asterisk and I will start by setting x to be 1 and y to be 0 in our condition asterisk. Notice that then we have the following equation f of 1 plus 0 which is f of 1 equals 1 times f of 1 plus f of 0. Well for this to be the case Obviously, f of 0 must be equal to 0. All right. Now, let's set just y to be... Let's set y to be 0 in our equation asterisk. Notice that then we have the following. f of, f, f of x squared equals x times f of x plus f of 0, but as we know it, f of 0 is 0. All right, all right, and we'll use it later. So let's call this condition, I don't know, primal. We'll use it later. Now let's set, let's now set x to be equal 1. Set x to be equal 1 in asterisk once again. Then, if I set x to be 1, then I have f of y plus 1 equals f of 1 plus f of y. Or maybe I will change the order. f of y plus f of 1. All right. f of y plus f of 1. And now my claim, which is easy to prove by induction, I claim that for every integer y, f of y equals y times f of 1. And I will prove it by induction. Proof. Proof. Uh, so let's start with 0. Well, f of 0 equals 0 times f of 1. So it holds. All right. And now suppose... Suppose now that f of y equals y times f of 1 for some integer natural number y, what n but y. Well then, then by our equation, f of y plus 1 equals f of y plus f of 1, which equals uh, y times f of 1 plus f of 1, which is, of course, y plus 1 f of 1. All right, so we have demonstrated that our equation holds for natural numbers. What about negative integers? Uh, suppose further, suppose now that 
f of minus y equals minus y times f of 1 for some natural number y. And now, then, notice the following. f of minus y minus 1. What is that? Well, notice that I can take this equation right here. This equation right here. And instead of y, let's put minus y minus 1. So this becomes minus y. So f of minus y minus 1 is f of minus y minus f of 1. Minus f of 1. But what is f of minus y? By assumption is minus y times f of 1 minus f of 1. So it's minus y minus 1 1 which closes the proof of my claim. We have demonstrated it in both directions. All right. And now the crucial part. Now let's let x be any rational number. Let m be a positive integer such that m time 2mx let's say is an integer. Well, for sure there can be found such m because because uh, we are dealing with rational numbers. Every rational number can be written as a fraction and if we multiply by the denominator we get an integer. All right. And now let's set let's set y to be 2mx plus m squared in our condition asterisk once again. Because notice that now we have the following. f of x squared plus 2mx plus m squared equals x times f of x plus f of 2mx plus m squared. All right. And now notice first that on the left-hand side we have x plus m squared. Here we have x times f of x, and here we can change the order. I will write f of m squared plus 2mx. All right, and now, by condition which I marked triangle, f of something squared is x plus m, f of x plus m equals x times f of x plus, and now, we can use our functional equation f of x squared plus y is f of x squared plus y is x times f of x instead of x here we put m and the role of our y is this plus f of 2mx is it is by our condition asterisk all right and now what else can we do well, notice that on the left-hand side we have x plus m, and what can be written for f of x plus m? Well, let's go back a little bit. Let's call this equation right here. Let's call this equation right here. Square. And notice that by easy induction, by very easy induction, uh, this condition squared can be generalized Maybe I will put it right here. It can be generalized that for every rational number Q and for every rush, uh, positive integer M, F of, or maybe Y, F of Y plus M can be written as F of Y plus M times F of 1. Uh, this generalization is very easy to prove by trivial induction. All right, so I will use it right now. So instead of f of x plus m, I will write f of x plus m times f of 1, which equals x times f of x plus m times. And now instead of f of m, instead of f of m, 
by my claim by my claim which I will mark I don't know reverse triangle why not by this reverse triangle f of m is m times f of 1 m, m times or m squared times f of 1 plus f of 2mx all right and now let's multiply everything here we have x times f of x plus mx f of 1 plus m f of x plus m squared f of 1 equals x f of x plus m squared f of 1 and one more thing remember that we are assuming that 2mx is an integer once again by our lemma by our claim this part right here instead of 2mx f of 2mx we can put plus 2mx times f of 1 all right and now time it's time for some cancellations x f of x f x f of x m squared f of 1 m squared f of 1 and now also here we have mx f of 1 so it can cancel with this number 2 and we are left with m f of x equals m x f of 1 and after division by m we get x times f of 1 and now setting f of 1 to be some constant a we see that we have the following f of x must be equal l a times x where a is of course a rational number and now all we need to do is to do verification that any function any linear function of this form satisfies our uh, our equation so let's do verification verification let's compare the left hand side with the right hand side on the left hand side we have f of x squared plus y which is a x squared plus y and on the right hand side we have x times f of x plus f of y so it's x a x plus y or rather a y so it's a x squared plus y it's exactly the same so the solutions to our equation are linear functions of the form f of x equals ax so thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye